Hello, this is Sin. In this video, we're going to go over uh, Swift variables. Let's start with uh, the most basic and explicit way you could create a variable. Here's one called welcome message. And let's change it to be hello world. You use the var keyword to declare a variable followed by the variable's name and then its data type. You initialize it by using the variable and setting it to a value um, using the equal sign here. That's simple. Everybody knows how to do that. And that's not really the way you would normally uh, declare and initialize a variable in Swift. Swift is a much more powerful language than that because it can infer the data type uh, based on the initial value you give a variable. So in this case, I'm using the word, the keyword let to tell Swift that my name will be a non-changing um, variable, essentially a constant. Uh, is equal to Lori Sinsioko. Because as a person, my name really will never change unless I legally take the trouble to change it. Um, you can also use the let keyword to declare a variable and explicitly specifying a type, in this case character. Uh, you know, in this example, uh, to sort of my gender is set to M for male. And again, it's one of those variables that <laughs> will typically not change. Now, if you do have variables that changes, um, then you really do want to use the var keyword. So here's a few more examples. Var is happy set to true. The Swift compiler will uh, infer that to be a, of type Boolean. Uh, same thing for age uh, and length. And notice that I didn't have to specify whether it's integer or Boolean because based on that uh, data type, age being 25, it can infer that that must be an integer type. And length being 33.97, it knows that that's of type double. Now, is it strongly typed? The answer is yes. Every variable you declare in Swift is strongly typed. Once they've uh, been given a particular type, you cannot change uh, that type of the, the type of the variable. Now, you can also declare multiple variables in one line if you like uh, doing that. Now, um, you also to, the easiest way to well, not easiest. This is one way to declare. A, uh, an array in Swift. This is a, a very simple array that only has two elements in it, uh, egg and milk. Again, that's the longer version of declaring a variable. That's not really the way you would normally write it in your Swift code. You would probably write it this way, the shorthand version. All right, simply the variable, the name of the array equals bracket element comma element. And if it's a string, then you put those elements in double quotes. And of course, uh, aside from uh, using an array, dictionaries are the second most used things uh, people use when they're coding. And the way that's declared is using this bracket syntax for the data type. So in this case, variable, dictionary name, colon, key, value. The key and the value happens to be a both uh, type string in this example. But it could have been integer, or it could have been like um, string and then integer. Again, that's the longer version of writing that. That's not the way you would typically see it in an Apple example. Uh, this is more of the way you would see it. Uh, a, a dictionary variable, the variable name, key value, comma, key value. Well, I hope this has been useful to some of you as far as how to declare variables in Swift. Remember that Swift can infer variables if you don't explicitly set the, uh, data, the, the data type. Um, and that's the way you'll see most of uh, people's code or even Apple's examples um, are written. Uh, anyway, this is Sin. I hope you found this Swift variable um, tutorial uh, useful.